during a track meet between South Pasadena High School and Monrovia. There was a picture taken of South Pasadena pole vaulter Robin Laird. I want you to look at her wrist here. It appears that there is a piece of string on her wrist. It's called a friendship bracelet. According to the rules, no jewelry can be worn. See it there? It's tough to see. The coach from Monrovia saw it, notified track officials. Laird was disqualified. Ultimately, that cost South Pasadena the meet, and Monrovia won the championship. A lot of people upset with the Monrovia coach for pointing that out. On the other hand, the rule's the rule. Did the coach do the right thing by notifying meet officials, David? No, he didn't. And this is talk about cutting off your nose to spite your face. You're supposed to be a role model when you're in high school athletics and you're a coach. You're supposed to be a role model. And trying to get someone thrown out on a technicality when they won fair and square, how ridiculous is that? I mean, you one thing out if your was wearing like a some girl, performance and... Wait, It'd be Ruth, one thing if it was a performance-enhancing bracelet. It's a piece of string, for God's sake. You know, I mean, how embarrassing. If I were the Monrovia team, I would be mortified, and if I were the superintendent, I'd be pissed. I mean, what? how embarrassing. You won because of a piece of string on an opposing team's wrist. Come on. You know, she outperformed you, but you have to resort to that. Shameful. It's just shameful. See, Ruth, the problem here is it is a rule, and the coach did correctly notify meet officials of an infraction. Uh, the, the problem is, what's jewelry? Well, according right. to the rules, anything like that is jewelry. Anything. Well, what, if she's a, what if she's a Jew and that's her Kabbalah bracelet? This is clearly a case of anti-Semitism. This is just so <laughs> ridiculous. This is, this, I, I, I get that it's a rule and she broke the rule. But I also get that, that this is the coach. This happened to this Knowles guy years ago, and he's working out a years-old grudge against a little girl. It was wrong then when it happened, and it was, it was a rule that went against him. He had a chance, one of the rare chances in life that you get to right a wrong, and what does he do? He just sticks the knife into that little girl. See, uh, <laughs> great role model. Great, great role, role model. model. Is this the but, lesson we want to teach our kids that bullies win and that you get well, screwed I, out of what's rightfully you know, yours on a technicality? I, I, I think hope not. Uh, no, 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 no. I think the popular stance would be the coach is wrong. I well, get that. I but I get my Monrovia, but, but I got to no, tell the, you, the he's wrong. You know what? There's a difference between following the rules and doing the right thing here. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. And that's the thing. He may have followed the rules. Right. Did he do the right thing? No. I don't think but the, so. it's it's immoral. And I do know I've got some spies in Monrovia. I do know that at least one of the, the Ruth, school board Ruth, people thinks Ruth, it's great. Ruth, but, Ruth, Ruth, we yes, don't have sir. a lot of time left here. It's not okay. immoral. It's not immoral. There's a lot of things that are immoral. That's not immoral. That's not immoral. That's that can't be considered immoral. Can it really? I think it was the wrong thing to do. All right. I'll, we'll agree on that. Last topic. Interesting article in Newsweek. Think about this. In Arizona, if you're stopped, you may be required to show proof of citizenship. Some call that racial profiling. What if everybody in this country was required to carry their passport at all times? Would it still be racial profiling? Christopher Dickey wondered about that in Newsweek, his idea. Americans should be required to have passports and carry them at all times. If you travel out of the country, you carry your passport, right? Why not carry it here as well? Think about it. Is that a bad idea, Ruth? I think it's a bad idea for a lot of reasons. First of all, passports are expensive and time consuming to get and easy to lose or if you if your your purse or your wallet gets stolen or whatever. But the the issue here isn't the isn't about ID. I'm not personally offended by the option of or by by the idea that if I if I'm pulled over by a cop that I have to show some ID. I'm fine with that. That's that's okay. If you if you travel abroad, if you travel yes. abroad, you bring your passport and you and, show and, it to whoever asks you to and see you it and it's it not you. an offense. Fine. So but why can't you carry I, it here? Well, Why can't you carry it here? I, you You're can, in your home country. But you shouldn't have to. That's not the issue. The issue is what would change if we all did carry this? All right, would law enforcement change? be better? I, that's my question. Well, first of all, it would create. We would we would need to have some new office if there's going to be some new government ID that the passport isn't good enough. But if the, the, now now we've got some new Obama jobs that we can create a new DMV like bureaucracy where everybody can go and get these these new ID cards well, that'll no. be let's the, just the, say, the forgeries no, no, will be no, 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 no. Wait, 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 David, come up here. Let's just look at it like this. New law, everybody carry your passport. Carry your passport. I don't care. Ruth, carry it. David, carry it. I'm going to carry what? it. Just like you carry it if you're abroad. Therefore, right. if anyone is stopped, there's no racial profiling. Everybody's got their passport. Why is that a problem? I'm happy to prove citizenship whenever it's necessary. I don't think that's an affront. I just also think an, that it won't solve an, anything. 
Go ahead, This David. is an unfortunate natural offshoot of the Arizona thing. You know, it's just another way to try to get at the Arizona thing without actually addressing the Arizona thing. I mean, the truth is, the Arizona law states that you can be stopped if you can't prove you're here legally. It doesn't say we're going to lock you up forever and you'll never get out and you'll be able to go home and get your passport. It just means if you can't prove you're here legally and there's some question about it, then then they can detain you until they can until you can prove that you're here legally. And so I don't that. need to carry my passport. I just need to know where it is. And you know what? I already carry identification. It's called a driver's license. Since when I isn't do. that good enough in America? And that doesn't compromise or infract, you know, infringe on me in any way. I carry ID because because at any point anybody can ask me for it. Well, we don't we don't ever want to infringe on you, Ruth. We don't I want know. to compromise. You. I'll <laughs> I you appreciate that. that. All right, you guys. Nice job. I'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Fred. Okay.